All right, in this video, you are going to learn how you can set up image recognition on your AR Foundation Unity project. So let's get started. First, you want to make sure that your project is ready for AI deployment. That means if you go to the build settings, you have your iOS checked here. You have imported all the XR things from the package manager. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then definitely watch the setting up video. I will link it right here. And then, yeah, if you don't have it set up, then do it first and then come back to this video. To get image recognition working, we need to do some sneaky tricks, which took me some time to figure out in the moment. Um, package manager and in here you want to make sure that you have the at least the version 2.2.0 because if you just install it like regular installation you will have a different version I think this one exactly the 2.0.2 and this one does not support um, the image recognition yet probably by the time you're watching the video um, this one will be released already but just make sure that this is the minimum version you have otherwise just take the current version uh, which is in preview because all this stuff is in preview anyway so it doesn't make a big difference um, but yeah this one is important to get then after you got the correct version of your package let's go to the AR session origin and in here we want to add a component which is called the AR tracked image manager there we go so this is necessary and in here you see already, okay, there's a reference library, uh, which probably is something like yeah, what images you want to track. Then there is, I mean, of, it is exactly this. And um, let's just zoom out a bit. So then you have a max number of moving images. So how many images you want to detect at the moment. And then, yeah, a track image prefab. This is a prefab which is getting instantiated when you recognize an image. So for this to work, we need a XR reference image library, which is a scriptable object. So let me just create it first. So you go right click, then create, and then all the way down to XR. And in here we have the reference image library. There we go. We can just leave the name like this. And there we go. By the way, if you don't know what a scriptable object is, then definitely check out this video over here because it's a general pretty, it's not too important, but it makes you really professional, makes your code really clean and um, modular. So this is something you really, really want to know. It's not um, something like specific for XR development, but if you don't know it, go watch the video. Otherwise, let's start adding some images to our library. And therefore, let me actually add something from my desktop. Just this nice little logo over here. Next try. There we go. And now we can go to our reference library and then here add images. Um, and now we can just drag it in. There we go. And yeah, that's it basically. Now we can specify our size, which is pretty helpful in meters. Um, I'm just going to put it at something like 30 centimeters. That should be okay. Keep texture at runtime means that you can, yeah, let me just read through. If enabled, the texture will be available in the player. Otherwise, the texture will be null in the player. So when you are on your, on your phone, you can still access the, the picture. But of course, this is going to blow up your phone and your, the size of your application if you have like a bunch of images stored in there. So you should only um, keep it if you really need it, obviously. And now we hit add image and now we can add yeah, a bunch of images. This one is now being tracked. We can give it a name as well. So immersity, there we go. And yeah, that's it already. Let me actually close it. And now we need to reference this library, of course. So let's go back to our AR session origin and then drag it over here. And yeah, now it's getting detected. But um, of course we need to do something like when an image gets detected and let's write a little script in a minute. But therefore, let's go and right click, create C sharp script and then let's just call it something like image 
recognition example there we go and double click it there we go and yeah let's first get rid of those two and let's get started so the first thing we want to do is add a reference of our reference image manager AR thing what it was called let's see uh, first we need to add our using unity engine dot AR XR and there we go and now we can add our component AR tracked image manager and of course we need some more references so let's take this one AR foundation and yeah let's just call it just like this there we go and on the wake we want to get it so void find object of type and in here we want to place our AR tracked image manager there it is all right, so now since we got our component, we want to add a public on, on enable. We want to subscribe to the AR image recognition um, event. So AR tracked image manager dot tracked image is changed. That's the name plus equals and whatever name. So that's a method we are, we gonna, we are going to write. So on image changed. And now we want to do the same for, or we want to unsubscribe on disable. So on disable. So we can just copy this, paste it in here, and a minus. There we go. And now only we need to write our method over here. Um. Oh image changed and there we go now we see we're still getting an error this is because we see that there's a AR tracked image change event arcs which we need to put in here so what was the name again AR tracked blah 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 AR tracked image event arcs this one over here and let's just call it arcs. Perfect. Now we are almost ready to go. Since this is just an example, I'm, I'm going to just do some um, very minimalistic stuff because this is the backbone of how the image recognition works. And yeah, how you're going to use it is like completely up to you. Like there's no limit in whatever you want to do. You can call some Unity events. You can instantiate some objects. You can also, which I'm going to, what I'm going to show you now, is um, iterate through the list so for each um, in arcs.edit and here we want to have our tracked image and now you can for example I don't know debug dot log not logger log tracked image dot name for example which would be, give me a second, now it's compiling, would be this name over here. And then, of course, based on the name, you can do certain actions, like if it's this name, then do this, or if it's this name and this size, and yeah, feel free to do whatever you want to. Track image dot, and there's lots of stuff over here, which you, which you can see. And um, let me just go back to name. There we go, we can actually get rid of those two over here because we don't need them. And yeah, the last thing we want to talk about is the object which is getting instantiated. So where is it again? AR session origin, uh, which is this one over here. Therefore, let's create an object which we then can use as a prefab to put it in here. So we go right click in the hierarchy, and then 3D object, cube, and then we can move the cube to the front a bit 
give it a nice rotation and make it a bit smaller. There we go, that looks fine. Now we can take this cube from the hierarchy and put it in here to create a prefab. Get rid of it over here and then we can add it in our tracked image prefab. There we go, now we save. And now if we are instantiating, no, now if we are detecting our image, which we have in our library over here, then we are instantiating this cube over here. Then let's make a build and see how it works. So we go to file and if you don't know the build settings, then check out the first video of the series or the second, depending on if you are working on Android or on iOS. First we have to switch to iOS actually. There we go. And then, yeah, actually I see you in a minute when it's done loading to then build it to the platform. There we go. Now we can build. Image recognition. There we go. Save. So here we can see our image recognition working in action. Let me actually open the image and we see our cube immediately instantiates. And now if I move the cube image, the cube moves as well. Let me actually zoom in. So we see our image. There we go. And of course, you don't have to just put in cube over there as a basic prefab. You can put in there anything. You can animate any objects. You can do some nice animations. You can add sounds. You can do some functionalities. You can open scenes. Like you're free to do whatever you want to. So this is it all ready for this video. If you liked the video, then please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any video suggestions, then leave them in the bottom section below. Otherwise, I see you in the next one.